if you don't know much about Australia, we basically have one great icon. Me. But just underneath that, we have Mount Panorama, and that's where we're heading today in the GR Butt Kicker Cup. So in our GR86. I've never raced at this circuit before, I've never been to this circuit before, but I'm excited to try it. I do actually think I've raced on this on like an old version of Gran Turismo or something. This straight seems familiar. Steep uphill. I saw someone just go flying off into the distance up there. Oh, okay, no braking. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, imagine if you went past those barriers. You'd be killed. Can we just flat out through here as well? Yep, okay. Turns out most of this is just flat out. I'm scared. Ah, uh, yeah. Holy Jesus! Oh my god, it's like a terrifyingly frightening, uh, more worse version of the corkscrew at Laguna Seca. Oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. Okay, yep. Alright. Alright, lads. I've done my time in practice. It's time for qualifying? And across the line for our first timed lap. Here we go. I did have a little bit of a bump on my outlap, but it shouldn't... Uh, Shouldn't matter too much. Oh god, this track loves a long straight and a fast corner. Holy moly. Trying to keep up momentum through that first corner. A lot of shuddering and juddering and jittering and all this kind of stuff. And now there's a sharp left hander. Lost a little bit of time on that one, but it's okay. All this is fine, but can you imagine the chaos that this is going to cause on the first lap? And this. And this. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's a mission to get around this every single lap. I mean, this the first lap of this race is going to be just annihilation of everybody. It's going to be survival of the fittest. A beautiful sunset though, that's that's lovely. That's really lovely. Coming up to 200 kilometers an hour here along this straight. It's still a straight. Oh, a braking zone, that's crazy. Don't get me off track on the last corner, I think I'd have to unalive myself. But no, we came across and it's a two minute 42 lap. Yep, very long laps here. We're over a second down on our original time. Oh, no! Oh, oh, and qualifying ended anyway. And unfortunately, we were over a second off the next qualifier. But there's a whole bunch of people that didn't set any time, so we're starting seventh on the grid. Not too bad. Let's head to the grid. On the end of a siding lap. Starting in 7th, in a 15 minute race around Mount Panorama. Pace cars off into the pits, this is it. This is it, get ready for the first lap. Chaos and pandemonium. Alright, we've got to get a good clean exit into this first corner. Oh my days. All right, I didn't get uh, hit with incident points for that hit. There's two guys off in front already. Guys coming up on the inside and, well, just behind me as well. Oh, look at the toe, he's hitting me, go around me, go around me. I don't know what happened into the first corner there, but everyone seemed to slow down a lot. And didn't change down enough. Oh no. And here we go into this ridiculously tight hairpin. Oh, he's at the wall in front. They're all battling it out ahead. Behind me a little less so. Oh, shit. 
Shit. That was my fault. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a really poor call and I'm going to have to pit for this. Because I've got severe damage. No! I don't have a flag, but I've, I can tell I've got damage. Look, there's... The, the pace just isn't there. The car's lopsided. This is terrible news. Still kept up with this lot, though. I wonder... Oh, he's got he's gone off. Someone's gone off. I'm about to overtake two of them at once. Maybe it was a good decision that I didn't pit this lap. Oh, I've covered him off. I'm gonna lose out to him on the straight though, I can tell. The pace just isn't there since the damage. He's there, he's coming up on the inside. got someone coming through on the outside. Oh, my days, this is such close racing. I don't have the pace in a straight line since the damage. But I don't think it's going to be worth pitting. Clearly still got some advantage on him. Oh! And we've had someone else spin out. That's good. Okay, let's see if I can get the toe down this straight then. Try and get me away from uh, RM Kassinen from behind. Keeping up with uh, Gabrielle in front of us. We're, we're in seventh. Look, that's not too bad. We had, uh, we had our crash in fourth, so we'll take it. Yes, yes, and I'm going to use the injured car to go past. Beautiful use of the back marker there. Somehow I'm in fourth. Oh, shit. In order to let him in on the inside without crashing, I had to break a little less than I hoped for. It's okay. Oh, 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 We've had a spin out and the next car's only now right behind us. We're still just under a second behind him, so hopefully we can still take advantage of the tow down the straight and keep up with him because if he makes a mistake, we need to be there to pounce back into fifth. Another spin, and it's that's going to cost us huge. Go, 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 go! Oh no! We've slipped into tenth. How is that possible? Or ninth? No, oh, I've gone off trying to defend my position. Looks like he might have as well. Good, he has. Perfect. I didn't need to then, so that's a shame, but I have done anyway. Imagine if they did track days at this place. Maybe they do, but it'd just spend all day collecting cars out of a wall. My car would look like a crumpled chip packet. I can't believe the wheels are still on this car, given what I've done to it. And hold on, wait a minute, where's 8th position gone? Looks like I've gained a position on this lap somehow. He must have disconnected.
Good news. Ah, there he is. He's, he's in the pits. Well, my friend, I'm going to pass you on the white flag lap. I'm in eighth position. That's not too bad. We started in seventh. So I would take this. We got up to fourth, which is, uh, which is good. But my mistakes have put us back here. It's definitely not the worst result. And if we can keep this, I'll be relatively happy. There is someone behind us. He's nearly three seconds behind, so as long as we don't make any silly errors, we should be able to keep this position pretty comfortably. Even with the straight line speed deficit. Only a couple more corners to keep the nonsense out. But we've done most of the hard work. This is just the last few high-speed corners, and then we're home and dry. I also think something might have happened to sixth position because they are out of order in front of me. Which could be good news. But here we are, final corner, and coming across the line to take seventh place. Beautiful, very nice work. Started seventh, finished seventh. We'll take it. And the results are ready. I guess that's probably what, about what we should expect. We got quite a few incident points and we did pick up a big bit of damage. So 0.02 minus on our safety rating is probably fair. It's disappointing, but it's fair. And on an I rating change, started seventh, finished seventh. Pretty much uh, the best we could expect for a plus 11 changed. We're back above 900, which is good to see. And I want to keep increasing that. We definitely want to get it over a thousand very soon. So if you did enjoy this special race on Australia's special icon, uh, Mount Panorama, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to see me do next. Any games, any series, any challenges, any tracks, whatever you want. I, I don't mind. I'll listen. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.